Oh, you. Damn you. Damn you, black textures. Graphically, this game looks really good. I really dig the bamboo forests. Also, sorry I'm not talking during the battles, but kind of concentrating, trying to not die, which I know, I know, I need to be better at doing both. But to go back to a topic I was talking about earlier, quite a bit earlier, was some games seem to almost hog all the hype. I don't think it's something they necessarily do on purpose. I think it just kind of happens that way. Like certain big names will latch on to certain games and just promote them. And I think that sometimes in turn causes other big names to do the same thing. And it kind of becomes a repeating process again, like, you know, with Super Meat Boy and Binding of Isaac and Rogue Legacy and Gone Home and Thomas Was Alone. And some of those games I consider to be between mediocre to just pretty good. But then there's other games, indie games in particular, which I don't even know if this counts as indie game. I don't really give a shit, frankly. But they... There's other games like this that don't seem to get... Oh, wow, it's getting dark. Um, let's check this side. This side looks shorter. But there's other games like this that are really good, at least so far. I like, you like how I keep refacing that? Like, I'm constantly worried that it's going to fall to pieces at any moment, and I'm going to be hating it, disappointed, and bitching. But there's games like this that are really good and really fun, but they don't really get a lot of attention. Uh, another great example of this is Cook, Serve, Delicious. Like, that game is very simplistic, but it's fun as shit. Alright, where you at? Shoot him, come on. This guy's glowing red. Does that mean he's raged or? I need to draw out those two attacks. Booyah. I keep forgetting my damn ninja stars too. I was so using them good at first. And then I've completely been botching it since then. Is there something back here? I want it. Whoops. <laughs> I used it, but at the wrong time. This sort of provides a light, but not enough. Okay. I hear another guy. But yeah, I don't... Like, there's there's so many good games like this. The Swapper, another game. A great puzzle game. Great atmosphere. Uh, the puzzles are well done. And you just don't hear people talk about them very much. But yet, you know... Thomas Was Alone gets talked about all the time, and quite frankly, I saw that game as being incredibly mediocre, almost entirely carried by the voice actor. And you had these other games which, in my opinion... Ooh, hello. Hell yeah. Achievement Unlock Digger. Don't know what that is, but he who takes advice from a cookie is sure to crumble. What great advice. Oh, I have a flashlight. I'm a fucking moron. What achievement was that? I'm curious. Uh, Digger. Find five secrets. Nice. The touch. Obtain five power upgrades. We can do that one. Easy. But yeah, that's just... And I know, you know, this is not a tea time, but it's just something that's bugged me. When certain games, which even if they're good, like if, the, if I think the game is just really good, even if it's something I don't like, Binding of Isaac. Great example. I don't like Binding of Isaac because I don't like roguelikes, so it's nothing against the game. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, damn. I, was about, I found a secret. I found it funny, too, that this sword can bust through, like, cars and shit, but the bamboo is, like, too much. Uh-oh. I thought I got stuck. The Binding of Isaac. I don't like the game myself. However, I can to- like we have to walk around. Okay. We've got this security system that just is a bunch of spines of dead people all over it. That would be a pretty damn good security system, though, to be fair. Would you break into that house? I sure as hell wouldn't. Oh, shit. Oh. 
I should have. I'm trying to use that sprint to dash in and slice. I'm learning. Slowly, but I'm learning. But yeah, Bonnie Vizzy, I personally didn't like it. And I can look at a game like that and go, okay. You know what? It's not my cup of tea, but I absolutely can see why people would love it and sink ridiculous numbers of hours into it. But there's other ones that I'm like, you know, it seems people just kind of latched onto this one for one specific reason. And the kind of overblowing the hype for it. Again, Thomas was alone is a great example of that, in my opinion. Where the narrator basically made that game. And the, the actual game aspects are, frankly, really weak. But this game is like so much fun so far. It's gameplay wise, it's a lot of fun to play. Sorry, I know I'm probably backtracking, but all these bamboo, all these bamboo look the same, man. That's racist. I was gonna say treeist, but I don't think bamboo is a tree. Isn't it? Is it bamboo like considered like a grass? Oh whoa, this looks okay. It's saved for me, but I'm gonna save again. And of course, well, never mind. Gonna say, uh oh, this is. Oh shit. The bigger they are, the more damage they do. Oh shit, out. Oh shit. Okay, yep, we gotta watch out for that. That's kind of a problem. Shit. Run, 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 run. I wanna take out his little buddies first. The Shredder. I don't know why I'm shooting him. Oh god. Die, bitch. Alright, I think there's only one left other than the big guy. Bon fucking Zai, you ugly son of a bitch! Get over here! Whoa. I like took damage just from being there. That was weird. So does he have like an aura? Oop, please. All right, so we're gonna need to watch that little. Come over here and leave. He's got. Oh, you know what? I bet if I maybe pull the sword out as I'm getting pulled towards him. All right, so heal up. Let's heal up. Let's heal up by pressing the right button, preferably. That's also the wrong move. You're an idiot. Please do it right. You might want to learn how to do that. I think maybe when he pulls me towards him. Stop that. Stop trying to scorpion my ass. Ouch. Okay, that's worse, actually. Whoa. Oh, uh oh, that's not good. He uh, bugged that a little bit through the wall. Heal up. Okay, I want to keep him in sight. I think I'm damaging him. I think he was kind of stunned there. I'm trying to hit him in the head, obviously. I wonder if the heart works on him. Probably not. Fuck. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna have to learn how to attack him up close. Hell yeah. Damn. Got three achievements from that? Fuck you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Double shit. Just die, asshole. Alright, we're still doing pretty good on easy ammo. Alright, we want to get out of the way of those range guys. Pull the melee over here. We still got a heart, so we can use that if we need to. The shredder. Oh, thank you. Let's 
Sweet. That only killed one of them, though. Shit. Come here. Ah, you son of a bitch. Oh, God. Get back. The Uzi definitely firecracker in that ass. Doesn't do a hell of a lot of damage. We're low on ammo, so let's swap up to the pistol. Whoa, what was that? With a kick. Damn it. Die, bitch. Stop docking. Thank you. Did you fall down when you jumped over? <laughs> oh. Die, asshole. Heal up. I don't know if there's any more around. Yep. See, my hit range is weird. Theirs is long. See? It's like... It seems like it's going right through him. Intense. Ooh, got a karma point. We're getting karma points pretty steadily, at least right now. Feel up. But yeah, the, the action is nice and fast. Especially since you can heal yourself if you're careful. That's pretty awesome. Got that ammo and shit. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a sword. Clean my blade of these guys' blood. I need to get commenting during actual fighting. A little, do a little better job there. Uh, skills, I think, what we want. Yes. All right, so this was um, spirits occur more frequently. Slain enemy spirits heal 30% more hit points. Eh, I'd rather just have them appear more frequently for now. Healing is easier. I mean, that understands that healing depends more on key than on medicine. Medicine kit stored 20 points above. I would rather increase my max hit points. The increasing max hit points does two things. One, the obvious, it gives me more hit points. Two, it allows me to heal more hit points. Because remember, your healing does, I think you can only upgrade, or you can only heal up to a max of, what is it? Hold on, let's look. The Peacock, let me see, blah, blah, blah. Heals 45% or up to 65% of maximum health. So, if I'm reading that correctly, if we increase our hit points pool, that heals more, right? So if we had 100 hit points and it could only heal 50%, it would only heal up to 50. If we had 200 hit points, it would heal up to 100. Uh, but it does say a maximum or up to heals 45 hit points or up to 65%. It would to heal some more fish that heals 60. Oh, that's how much you heal at a time. Uh, so I think that would be the better way to go. Hopefully you guys I actually enjoy that I'm explaining or care that I'm explaining why I'm picking what I'm picking and not just picking them at random. Uh, so I want what I say. Oh, I want to go with more hit points. Uh, let's see. Base hit points increased by 10, by 20, by 30. I don't know if I'm going to go straight down that line. I might actually pick this fire resistant up given how much stuff uh, blows up around me. So yeah, let's increase our hit points. Like, the first level's not that great, but once we get three levels of it, it's going to be quite nice, I think. So, can we heal? Nope. Okay. Still... We still might be able to be stuck at 65, I don't know. But, theoretically, I should be able to heal more. I heal more, I think. Let's see if we find a heart. Can use another one. They don't drop a whole lot. There is a skill you can get... Uh, there's a healing, pit, healing kit. Ah, oh, yeah. 110 hit points. 
Maybe there's a door that we can go in. I don't remember where we came in. Hmm. There's a lot of those little cages around. Is that are they keeping like rabbits in there or some shit? I do not know. There are demon rabbits. I'm surprised I actually didn't get achievement for killing that rabbit previously. It's just some random blood. Piss off. I wonder if you can shoot. It seems like one time I shot those things off of its back like, while they were still alive. Okay, so that looks like the only door I can go in. Oh, I came I off of there. That's right. So one more quick search around. I'm pressing E as I run around, seeing if there's any hidden doors anywhere. Okay. All right, to the store. I'm using my dodges and stuff more efficiently. Or I don't think they call them dodges. I think they call them. Ooh, level completes. One hour, 16 minutes. Two deaths, enemies killed, 117. Karma bonus, 40%. Damn, still only three of five secrets. Holy shit. Crazy. 392 of 700, wow. They didn't like me. Oh well, next mission. <laughs>